The big idea, if you've got time enough to swing it, is to shield yourself by thick, strong, heavy material like reinforced concrete from the A-bomb's blast. And heat. Do that, and you'll also be protecting your hide from its radiations. A lot of people, including you men fairly new to the service, got the notion that radiations are like the double whammy, turned on by Evil Eye Flegel, the comic strip character. Irresistible, I mean. Well, you're wrong. They're mighty penetrating and deadly, but they can be stopped. Authorities know exactly what it takes. Just what thickness of steel, concrete, or wood will do the trick. But you're no authority. Even if you were, you haven't got your tape measure or calipers with you. Even if you had them, you wouldn't have time to use them. You're just a guy trying to get along. And fast. A heavy wall between you and the source of the blast will cut off most of the radiation barrage. But you don't know where the source will be. And radiations can scatter and bounce off the air the way a basketball bounces off the backboard. What you want, then, is a spot that shields you above and all around. That's if you can find it without wasting time. 